Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and today we want to talk about trading bots on KuCoin. KuCoin offers you several options um, for using trading bots and we will discuss all the trading bot options today and I will show you how they actually work and how you can make money with them. So first of all, if you don't have a KuCoin account, I actually put a link down in the description if you use that link to sign up. Um, for KuCoin, um, they will give you a mystery box um, where you can win up to 500 US dollars. So you basically have five different trading bots on KuCoin and you can actually access them when you go to trade and then trading bot. And then you can click here on classic version and then they basically show you all the five trading bots. And so let's start out with the two easiest one. So first of all, that's um, DCA bot. And that's basically um, short for dollar cost average. So that basically means um, the bot does nothing else than buying in regular intervals um, a certain cryptocurrency. So in order to do this, you can just click on create bot and say, okay, you want to buy, um, I don't know, Ethereum for example and um, you want to buy that every week and then you can specify the amount you want to invest and the max investment amount so the amount you want to invest um, into that bot and of course you can um, um, set your advanced settings here and there and um, you have a profit target that can be, for example, 10% or 100% or 500%. And then you can specify if um, that profit target is reached and the bot should sell all your cryptocurrencies in order to realize that gain or if it um, should keep going. And that's basically it. The whole idea behind it is um, that you get a good entry price when you do dollar cost averaging because um, yeah, it just randomly or it buys in certain intervals and sometimes the price is up, sometimes the price is down and it basically should give you a good entry price on average. And then there is um, something called Smart Rebalance Bot and that's basically similar to an ETF when you trade stocks on the stock market. So you can basically specify that you want to own a certain portfolio of coins um, they have some coins here that you can either choose or you can create your own portfolio so for example they have something here that they call nft so that are basically all the um, coins that are related to nfts or something that they call dex flagships so that are basically coins that are related to decentralized exchanges and then you can just say okay um, i want to own this course create now and then you can specify um, which percentage of the portfolio should each coin be. And then you basically can set up your own portfolio. Like, as I said, similar to an ETF. So that's pretty straightforward. And then there are basically three different grid bots um, where you can make money with um, there's a spot grid bot, a futures grid bot, and an uh, infinity grid bot. So let's talk about grid bots in general. So the whole idea behind grid bots is that um, the price, or you expect the price to be in a certain price interval. So let's say um, Bitcoin here, and you expect the Bitcoin price to stay between 21,000 US dollars and here 16,000 US dollars. And then you can basically set up a grid bot and what it basically does is um, you can specify the amount of grids and when the price goes up one grid or goes down it buys basically a uh, cryptocurrency and then when it's up a grid it sells it and so you can basically make profit if the price goes up and down and um, between the grids and yeah you should be aware of the fact um, that here in the lower half of the price range and it will mostly buy and here it will uh, mostly sell your cryptocurrency and if you do a spot grid bot um, 
it really makes sense if you buy or if you enter your grid um, or start your grid bot in the bottom half of the price range. And with the futures grid bot, and we will talk about that in a bit, but there you can also start in the upper half of the price range. So let's look at the spot grid bot. Um, you can basically see a leaderboard here. So they give you the option to create your own spot grid bot, or you can basically see a leaderboard and with seven day profits, for example, and it basically shows you um, who basically has right now the best um, grid bot running with the highest APR. APR is basically the annual interest rate um, that they would get um, if they would run it for a year. But that's basically just based on the performance of the last few days. And if you click on the people and they basically show you what kind of bot they have and the price range, and then you can just copy and create, and then you can see basically what happened here. So they started the grid bot, the price went up and went down, and because it was very volatile, and they made a good amount of money with it. So that's basically a spot grid bot, and you can either fill the parameters, so the price range, are actually the parameters, and by yourself, or you can do it automatically. So they basically have an AI that um, fills the parameters for you and you, sh you can play around with it. And then you need to specify the intervals. Um, so it's basically good to have a low profit interval here. So the profit grids um, should be below, at least below and um, 1% better if it is below 0.5% because then you can also make money if the price just changes by like 0.4%, for example, and you don't have to wait until the price changes for the whole percentage. So it's usually better to have more grids. And I will show you my two spot um, grid bots that are running right now. And I can show you basically here. And that is my spot grid work from Solana. And you can see the current profits are $187 right now, but um, only a certain part of the profits, so $42 are coming from the grid profits. And the highest profits are here actually from the price. So my entry price was 13.8 um, USD. And right now the price is almost $1 higher. So I made most of the money with um, the price that went up. However, and I also made $42 um, with the uh, grid profits. And you can see here the calculated APR, so the calculated interest rate. So I would make about 20% um, per year on my grids and 80% um, on the price change. And then I have a spot grid board for one inch and you can see here, um, it's $500 um, in minus, and that's basically because uh, my grids are profitable. However, uh, my entry price um, was 50 cents or around that, and now it's down to 44 cents. So um, I have to wait until the price gets up to that level, and then um, the profits here um, will flip because my grid is still profitable. However, um, because my entry price was higher than the current price. But that's totally normal if you run a grid board because you expect to be um, volatility there. So the price goes up and down. And if it is down and below your entry price, um, you are in a loss. And if it goes up again, um, you are in a profit. And here you can basically see how many trades it did. So for example, my Solana grid board did 20 trades today in the last 24 hours and the one inch bought and did seven trades. And then there's something that they call Infinity Grid. Infinity Grid is basically a grid board um, where you don't have to specify a price range. So it basically automatically um, adds the grids if the price goes up or down and it adds it on a percentage basis. So that's why it's always adding grids. However, as you can see, the grid profits are usually lower. Um, then if you would use a spot grid board um, 
because you need a certain percentage amount and with a spot grid board amount and you can basically set more grids um, in shorter intervals. So that's basically it in terms of spot and infinity grid boards. And then there's something that they call um, future grid boards. And the advantage here is, as I showed you earlier, if you expect the price to go up, it's always good to do a spot grid board. However, if you expect the price to go down, if you think the price is right high, right high right now and you can do a future grid board and there you can say okay and you think the price will go down then you can short actually so it mostly shorts um, the cryptocurrency then and um, sells on the way down and if you think the price will go up you can do it with long however the future grid board basically gives you the option to also profit if you think the price will stay in a price range or it will go down and below that price range. So that's um, that. And of course, you also have a leaderboard when it comes to future grid boards and you can see um, all the leaders here. And as you can see again, it's mostly um, small cryptocurrencies, except here's someone from Ethereum. And as you can see, um, his grid here and you can basically copy it. So that's basically it. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to use the comments down below. If you don't have a KuCoin account, and um, use the link to sign up. And if you find that video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.